this is uh, chapter 16 uh, and uh, we'll have a look at the normal hierarchical models without predictors. Uh, the following week, so the next week, we are going to see uh, the application with predict the same application with predictors. But for, for this week, our learning objectives are build a hierarchical model uh, of variables, uh, our response variable y with, without predictors, and simulate, analyze these hierarchical models with uh, us and ARP, and then utilize hierarchical models for predicting y. Okay, so the data set is Spotify. It's a Spotify data set. Uh, it, you can uh, find it in the bias rules package. And um, it is the, made of uh, 44 artists and uh, for a total of, of 350 songs. So there's some artists that have more than one song. And, uh, and so uh, there will be a discussion about grouping and so pooling, no pooling, partial pooling. Uh, these are the notes uh, made from, from previous court. So they, um, the, this um, graph uh, shows you uh, the songs, the artists, basically, the song by artists and the frequency. Uh, and, and so what we are going to do is basically have, uh, have a look at, um, uh, have a look at what uh, the model, uh, how the model can be uh, built if we consider a complete pooling. Uh, this means uh, that we are not taking consideration the fact that um, songs, are grouping within artists. So the artists that makes more songs and the artists that makes less songs. So um, basically our response variable, our target uh, is the rating of this, the, the songs. Uh, uh, and so if we um, have a look at this, uh, um, Studio. Okay, basically, what, what uh, our response variable is uh, um, uh, in songs, Spotify popularity rating, which is uh, from zero to 100. And we are not, uh, we, we are doing this without predictors, but in case predictors would be the song features that can help us predicting uh, our uh, Y variable, our rating. Uh, and so um, basically the questions are, what's the typical popularity for a Spotify song? So we can ask ourselves some, some questions. And to what extent does popularity vary from artist to rust artist? Or uh, for any single artist, how much might popularity vary from song to song? Uh, what we are going to do, uh, it's basically uh, considering uh, um, uh, the average popularity rating uh, for the songs, uh, which is set about to be about 50. Uh, and then um, uh, apply the three type of... Um, uh, criteria for modeling, say, such as complete pooling, partial, no pooling, and partial pooling. Uh, as um, I was uh, saying, that uh, mm, so this 350 song, uh, songs include multiple songs by each of the 44 artists. Okay, so and here we, we see that we have artists, the titles, and the popularity. Uh, if we um, 
uh, basically have a look at the distribution of the probability, we see that uh, about um, the, the exact mean of the probability uh, without considering the fact that um, it is uh, the, 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 some songs um, are belonging to uh, one artist more than others. Uh, and so it is slightly more than 50, okay, about 58 or something. Um, and so, uh, while if we consider uh, the fact that the songs group by artists, and so the popularity rating within some songs uh, can be influenced by the fact that it is some artist, some particular artist doing, doing the song more than another. So, and here it, we can see that. The, the same distribution of popularity is grouped by artists. And so uh, we see that the average can vary. So we can set it to 50 or about that, that value if we do not consider that they can group by artists. Um, in fact, uh, here is a, a demonstration that, for, for example, some, some artists such as Mia, Chris, Gold art or soul and roll, so that they have like 10 songs with some popularity, other have three songs with other different level of popularity. And so complete pooling ignore the fact that songs can group by artists. No pooling is exactly the opposite. So uh, assume independence. Uh, so popularity is not uh, uh, um, is influenced by uh, the fact that some songs are made by some particular artists and others not. Uh, and so assuming independence between popularities between artists' songs. Okay, and uh, the uh, the author says that this first two. Uh, and a bit like sim simplifying too much the model, while partial pooling is the best way to go for making this, this type of, for answering this, this question. And this takes consideration of the grouping influence of the artist into the popularity. Uh, to, to have a quick look at the complete pooling, Okay, so um, we see that um, this, uh, this is the artist name, we just made it. Okay, we have the count uh, and the popularity. If we see what is the, the minimum and the maximum value, so we have um, artists that have just two uh, songs and while artists have about 40. Okay, uh, and so if we do um, just uh, have a look at the density, which is not influenced by uh, art by grouping uh, in this case, we we have um, uh, as mm, so the uh, the density ranges from ten to ninety five. So the mean value of this range, uh, okay, is um, it's about 52.5, okay? Well, we have uh, uh, a median of the popularity and the mean of the popularity. So this gray is the mean of the popularity and the median of the popularity, this dark red, has slightly, uh, are a little bit more. Okay, if we want to be uh, precise, I, I think I, I did it somewhere, but um, uh, so we basically uh, are focusing our analysis on uh, normal uh, distribution with mean uh, 50. 
okay? But we need to consider that the probability distribution uh, could, could, could range uh, um, between uh, 50 and 60. Okay, not exactly. Uh, and so as, as we did it um, uh, on the previous chapters, so we always have a range, okay? If we look at, um, let's do this. Um, so we have a, um, a range, you know, okay, wait a uh, uh, So this is our, this is our model. So our uh, response variable, which is the rating uh, um, of, of the song on Spotify. Uh, and uh, it has uh, this, supposed to behave normally. So we um, finally say that we are looking at a, a, a normal trial with mean and uh, uh, variance, uh, mean mu and uh, variance sigma, okay? Uh, to, to finally, so set these parameters, we assign this to be 50, okay, as a mean. Then the variance would be uh, you know, as we did the last time, considering this uh, range uh, that we uh, we are moving within a range, and so we can consider the confidence intervals. Okay, and as we did the last time, we can uh, like uh, we could basically retrieve the values of x going in reverse with this with this simple formulation. But for now. For now, what we do is basically assigning some um, um, a priori values, okay, which are reasonable, and then adjust them, okay. We just just are that we are uh, on on complete pooling yet. So what we want to do is going to partial pooling, okay. So considering group. Hoping and consider that they are not independent, but they are influencing each other. Okay. Uh, so our model is basically made uh, with Stan GLM uh, and the formula for complete pooling. So just popularity without considering any grouping is popularity and one. Okay. Uh, Spotify, Family Gaussian, and then here are our priors. Normal, this Y, and the uh, sigma is an exponential of one. Okay, you see that the, um, sorry, the, the, the mean, the prior for, for the mean, it's a normal with mean 50 and uh, 2.5, okay, yeah, 2.5, uh, while the exponential is uh, set to one, okay, then there is this auto scale through uh, option and then the, the usual chain iteration and seeds for um, reproducibility. So we can see uh, if, so I run this, the things, uh, um, if we see this, um, uh, the, 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 the summary, uh, okay, so basically this is what we did, it, and then we can see the, the, the complete summary uh, asking for the effects and the confidence intervals. Okay, setting a confidence level of 80%. And so we can see that the intercept, it's about 58. So the expected value is about what, what we saw uh, that we expected to be uh, more or less. Uh, but uh, by this simple uh, vi uh, visualization, okay, so reasoning before modeling. Uh, and uh, we have a sigma about 20, and this can be retrieved 
as I said, considering the range, the confidence intervals, you set one and then retrieve the other and, and so on. And so um, uh, we can say that uh, uh, we are not using predictors. Okay. Do you have any questions? Uh, something that you like to add, maybe? Uh, no, no questions at the moment. Thank you. Okay, so if we go forward, uh, and then, so we did, uh, the, we set the prior uh, as always, so complete pooling, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and now uh, we do the posterior predict on new data, and these are the artist means. Okay, so basically what we did it before, is now grouped by artists, but we use it as a new data and consider without considering the fact that this 13 uh, level of popularity uh, that belong to Mia, for example, uh, it could be influenced by these weights, by the number of songs that Mia uh, does, okay? For now, we use this po this uh, popularity as uh, new uh, data, okay? Uh, and so we put pull, uh, plug these values inside our, our posterior predict function, and with our visualization, so that we can see. Apparently, take a bit. Okay, we can see here are the artists. Okay, this is in the book, uh, completely taken from. Uh, and so this is our, the, 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 the blue dots are our, our, our observed values. Why the uh, lighter blue, it's, it's our uh, estimation. Okay, with confidence interval. So you, you can see that it's very, uh, you know, stable. Okay, so that is not the best model that we can do. But we have an idea of what's happening. If we do not consider that there is a weight uh, to be used, uh, which is by art, the number of songs by art. While not pooling, not pooling, instead consider uh, the fact that we have artists. They um, are not, but, but they do not influence each other. So uh, the same thing as before, now I, I'm going to be uh, more clearer. Um, if we see, so if we do the same thing like the density as we did it before, this one here, now the density grouped by artists is, is, is uh, completely different, okay? So you can see that the, the mean for this artist can be very low, while the mean for the other artist can be about 50 and the other artist can be about 80. So it, it is, um, or, or maybe just, so they, they are quite different. So our model in this case for no pooling, it's popularity by artist minus one. So we do not consider the intercept. Yes, down GLM, family Gaussian, uh, normal priors, uh, as we did it before, mean 50, uh, variance 2.5, auto scale, exponential 1. Okay, chain, iteration, and C. We run this thing, uh, and then um, I did it before. Uh, uh, didn't uh, just. Um, this, 
um, just doing this now. So. Okay, just to, uh, as, as we expected, uh, our model is now by artist. So we have the estimate by artist, which is exactly the mean, okay, that we have seen before uh, with the standard error and everything. If we go, the end of these things, we have the sigma, which is about 14 now, instead was 20 or something. While the mean, the general mean is 58. Well, just as the same as the, um, the, the same thing we found before. If we do the uh, visualization, We have some predictions, and that's okay. Uh, why what's happened here if I do this I have artist and popularity okay so now things change Okay, change completely. You can see this one here, which is just like stationary. This other one is overfitting, completely exactly the same. Okay, which is these are as, as you have seen the expected values by artist. Okay. Okay, now I need to go back to the um oh, right so okay so what we need to do is build an high hierarchical model Okay, considering different levels and different things. Uh, and um, so, let me see if I can. Okay, so, uh, so we, we can see that we have. Uh, uh, we, uh, within and between artists, and so uh, different levels, okay. Um, uh, here, what we need to consider is the, that, um, okay, what I didn't mention, is that uh, the variance, it's very important, okay? You see that if we consider grouping, the variance is something that it, it's the thing that it, it, it is, it's very important. So the, the variance uh, of this, this uh, curve, it's different by the variance of this, uh, uh, these other skews. Okay, so it is the variance that changes. And um, uh, 
uh, basically what we need to do to consider uh, what what are you saying? Uh, um, are you saying something else, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, no pooling, building, and hierarchical model. Okay. So now well, uh, the the things that basically. Um, we need to uh, consider is the fact that um, the model as now um, when we do partial pooling that means that we consider the um, uh, the our our model without considering grouping but then we consider grouping and that the grouping are influencing um, our, our response variable. Okay. And so our model changes a bit. So we need to, we have the same normal distribution, uh, but uh, uh, we have uh, um, variability that belongs to independent distributed variables. Uh, and uh, on top of other uh, of our normal priors. So before we had uh, this prior and this other prior. Okay, now we have uh, two more priors. Okay, because our expected value, our mean, uh, is now um, uh, influenced by a weight. Okay, which is number of sums by us. And so, uh, as well as, as the variance is not anymore one variance, but it's a variance that is influenced by the average of the number of sums by us. And so we do like, uh, we need to consider this as, um, a, um, a sort of breakdown uh, within uh, uh, the, the information that we got. Okay, and um, let, let's, uh, uh, as well as we consider the uh, covariates, because we have two um, elements within the variance. It is not just variance of x, it's variance of x and y. So we need to consider the covariance. And so we build our model this way. We now have a popularity by one. Uh, so this is uh, basically the appropriate formula uh, that defines this type of uh, grouping. Okay, we use STAN GLMR. And we do this one uh, uh, vertical bar artist. Yeah. Any questions, suggestions, additions, uh, concerns? I don't know. Um, I, I I like this point of view of having a queer distinction between the no polling average and and the artist average and i like how this gets carried out with that extra or that um parameter b and we'll see how this plays out yeah there you go right yeah so Um, we can even uh, talk a bit more about that. So we, uh, if we have, for example, okay, the average popularity for all songs, all songs on Spotify is 55. Whereas the average popularity for some artists, J, 
okay it's 65 but th this is what we said okay then the artist's average popularity is 10 above the global average and so this b will be 10. it's a sort of weight that we add to our mean value for adjusting the model to this this uh, uh, this grouping that influences our response variable and so uh, we go through our uh, posterior analysis with our model as well as before we do the same thing so family gaussian uh, our prior as we know okay 50 and 2.5 auto scale our prior ox which is our uh, sigma which is exponential one but then we have a prior covariate prior covariance which consider the covariates and it is a decov function reg one uh, and so on. Let, let's uh, um, let's have a look at this um, uh, this function in r This will be uh, um, this will be partial pooling. Okay. So I'm not sure that uh, um, no, it should work. Huh? Uh, it takes a bit, but not very, not too much, to be honest. But the things that I wanted to uh, point you at is this: uh, the differences that we use uh, within this uh, model more than uh, with the other. So we have uh, this formula now. Uh, and then, as I said, the variance is the bit that is, it is very important. And so we have a new B uh, to add our um, uh, mean. Uh, but we use this uh, decov uh, function inside our model. While he is building it up, we can go back there. Okay, uh, and see uh, that uh, then we, as soon as we got the result, we, we have a look, but then with this uh, um, MCMC trace uh, and uh, density overlay, um, uh, the um, autocorrelation function, um, and so uh, the the radio, uh, and so we we can see the result of the uh, of the model. So I ask too much, maybe. We are at chain four. And we have four chains. So I don't think it's that much longer. 
change for. Um, and so, we can um, go back here. And our posterior prediction and um, So yeah, uh, if we then check TP check uh, by the popularity, we see that these are our uh, MC uh, MC um, uh, simulations. And they are uh, basically just grabbing the shape of our observed data, but they are not exactly um, uh, on the same mean, but it could be possible that the, uh, the model is uh, suitable, basically. Okay, so we can uh, have a look at the posterior result. Uh, and uh, we we see that uh, uh, if we select the call names and everything, we have a B intercept for, for each artist. Okay, because each artist in, uh, influence of a bit uh, the popularity. And so uh, these are our global parameters, the mean, the sigma, and the, uh, the variance by artist, as we said. And so uh, if we tidy, uh, set the effect to fixed, the confidence interval to true, and the levels always to 80%, not sure about that. So we can see that the estimate is now 52.5. So we had 58. Uh, we said that was reasonable because we had a range, but uh, um, 52.5 is exactly the value, basically, for, for our observed data. It's a very good estimation. Of the estimates. And we have a standard error about 2.5. So I think this is then uh, uh, replicating the assumption that has been set in the priors. Yeah. Then if we do uh, set the effect to run parse instead of the hint fixed. Uh, and so we have this uh, by artist, and then we have the residuals. We have the estimation by artist, which is by 50, about 15, sorry. It is about 15 by artist. Yeah. Uh, and the, while well, the residual, it's 14, which is quite high. And so if we have a look at this, uh, we obtain 0.5 as a value. And um, this is what we expected. This is the variance to the, this formulation here. Go ahead. which is uh, 0.46. And so let's go forward with this uh, posterior analysis. And uh, then we can see that uh, the uh, various artists, confidence intervals uh, is specified here. We can uh, run vals, effect run vals.
uh, and so this is uh, digging inside the result of the model with using that bar, one bar artist. Uh, and so now here there is a point range, but there is not the observed values. So uh, which is quite like a sort of not stationary, not exactly as uh, the observed values, they have a, a sort of range that can go up here, down to there. And so quite quite reasonable, reasonable uh, range of variation. Yeah, what do you think? Um, and so I think that this is the the best uh, the best uh, part of this uh, this chapter. Then there is more about um, investigating uh, the um, other other uh, type of things. Let's go back to uh, R and see if this. Okay, that's done. And so we have this decov uh, and all the other things that we can use the function. To have um, the same thing and um, use some other information. I don't know if you like to uh, have a look at uh, other things, but if we use uh, uh, this thing here, so we had Spotify hierarchical, which is this, uh, and uh, we have a look at the uh, posterior predict or new data, and we know what are these new data, no? Okay, so this is the count. This is this is the popularity, which is the uh, the model resulted with a um, uh, popularity mean of fourteen by artists. So um, not too bad. If we run this. Okay, right. So we can see that the model, this is the are the black dots that we just saw, no? And so the model, these are the blue, the observed data, while the light um, blue are the estimations with their confidence interval. So we can see that the, the model is quite good. But not exactly the same, not different, not ex ex excessively uh, stationary or different. So it's quite uh, um, it quite nice replicating the data, get, providing some some uh, range of variation. Yeah. I'll stop sharing. Yeah, I agree with you. The hierarchical model does look promising. And of course, the authors arranged their textbook to motivate these ideas. Yeah. Gotcha. But we'll see more uh, about that next week with uh, adding predictors within the model. And so we go back to what we saw today, but we add predictors. So I think I hand the, the recording here.